The South LA shelter just contacted me. They say they have about a four-year-old Wheaton Terrier mix they found as a stray. This breed is a ball of energy. And when you put them in a shelter-like environment, they can't release that energy. So it makes them appear like they're a bad, out-of-control dog behind the cage, causing them to get overlooked time and again. And such is the case for this girl. Her time right now, it's pretty limited. So I'm gonna get down there and rescue her. See what I can do. Sure enough, Nikki doesn't know what to do with herself inside a cage at the shelter. Yeah, there you are, there you are, there you are. I heard you got some serious energy. Is that true? Yeah, you're looking nervous inside there. I don't blame you. Here, let me in there. I know, I know. I know, it's so exciting. It's so exciting, you got company. What's your name? Really? Well, hi, Nikki, I'm Brandon. And freedom! After learning from shelter staff members that Nikki had been treated for ticks, Brandon brings her to Banfield Pet Hospital for a complete examination. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Hey, Violet, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. Is this Nikki we have here? This is Nikki, I just got her here for exam. Very cool, all right. Well, we have Kim right here, she'll take you right in the room. Hi. Dr. Nardi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see you. You too. Hi. And this is Nikki. This is Nikki, yeah. I uh, just adopted her. When okay. they picked her up on the streets, apparently she was covered in ticks. Although they treated it, I know that ticks can have a serious effect, long lasting sometimes, and I'd like a second opinion. Absolutely. I will look through her coat during my exam and just kind of check for ticks. But another thing I want to do is a heartworm test. The heartworm test, in addition to testing for heartworm disease, actually tests for three tick-borne illnesses, Lyme disease, Ehrlichia, and Anaplasma. And then if we have any positives, we can do further testing. Okay. After examining Nikki's ears, eyes, teeth, belly, heart, and lungs, and making sure that the dog's coat is free of ticks, Dr. Nardi takes Nikki back to conduct the heartworm test. All right. Well, what do we think? The good news, she is heartworm negative and she is Lyme negative. But the anaplasma and the Ehrlichia were both positive. That means she either has Ehrlichia and anaplasma or she may have just been exposed. Okay. I'm grab some more blood. I'm gonna send it out to the lab for a little bit more comprehensive test. I am gonna start her on some antibiotics. You're gonna give these once a day, just to be on the safe side. Okay, is she okay to socialize with other dogs and do basic training with? Oh, absolutely. She can be introduced to the other dogs at the ranch. No strenuous training, but basic commands are fine. I would give her about a week until I get the results back. As okay. soon as I get them, I'll definitely give you a call. Thanks, Dr. Nardi. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice Appreciate to see you. Appreciate it. Come on, Nikki. Because Nikki, a four-year-old terrier, has potentially been exposed to tick-borne diseases, Brandon cannot yet begin any rigorous training with her. And now Nikki's skittish nature has put doing even a basic assessment into question. I've seen a lot of shelter dogs over the years. When they get out of the shelter, they're actually more uncomfortable in a home environment because they're basically institutionalized. So suddenly putting them in an environment like the Lucky Dog Ranch here, which is supposed to be a safe haven for dogs, they don't understand it. And this is what was going on with her. What happened? You checked out already? Everything I asked her to do, she pretty much shut down on me. Do you want treats at all? You gotta show me something. All right. Can't force you. When I saw this, I opted to end the assessment. My job is to make her feel comfortable here, and obviously right now, I'm failing at that. So all I did was I sat down, and I tried to make friends with her. Basically doing nothing at this point is far better than trying to force friendship on her. She has to learn on her own time that this is a safe place. I spent nearly three hours sitting on the ground of the training yard, sitting there, waiting for her, waiting her out as long as it took. And finally, after a few hours of sitting there, she gathered enough courage to walk up to me. She relaxed just a little bit. Her anxiety level dropped just a touch, and that was enough for me. We might not have gotten any common commands training done. You're safe here, relax. We got a much more important style of training done, trust. Trust is the first step in training. Without trust, you can't train. Come on. 
Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.